Hey guys, this is Aunt Early Shadows, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Wii backups for your, I mean channels for your Wii backups. Okay, first off, I'm assuming you already know about the Homebrew channel, Wii Manager, USB loader, stuff like that. So, yeah, if you don't, there's a lot of tutorials on how to install stuff like that. So yeah, first off, you're gonna wanna download this program called Load Structure, and when you get Load Structure, and yeah, when you get Load Structure, you gotta have a file called Common Key Dot Bin. You can download Common Key Dot Bin from a torrent site or whatever because I can't actually link you to it because you know not allowed so yeah download the common key put it in a directory the same directory as the program load structure and load load structure and you will get this you can switch from installers whichever one you use C loader configure USB and if you don't use any installers listed you can just download them from Google they're easy to find so once you load up the program you it will have the option to load an ISO or WBFS. I'm sure you all, of course, know how to get ISOs. And WBFS is for people that like have the USB and you don't want to transfer it to an ISO. But if you want to transfer it to an ISO and you have WBFS, just go to We Backup Manager or whatever. Wait, oh, what did I close? Okay, go to We Backup Manager. Load it. Hit yes. And I'll load up here like a manager. Okay, so let me actually insert the SD card with the backups on it. Okay, so you're gonna have drive one. Hit that and hit the drive with the files on it, so, yeah, 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 no, cancel, okay, so, let me reload that, and I C, no, was it C, was it, C? No. Was it E, there we go, okay, so, drive the E, it has Kirby, Returns to Dreamland, which is an amazing game, you want to hit transfer, like, click that, hit transfer, you can transfer it to the ISO, CSI, or sneak format. You can transfer it to ISO, which is more useful. So, once you transfer it to ISO, it'll be in whatever you want to save it to. You open up the loader in here, add ISO, and then run it. And it'll give you a dot watt, and you know, tell you to use watt manager, put it in a watt folder, um, install the watt, and bam, to load it. I had problems before. Like, it wouldn't load, the channel would just be like useless. So, in order to fix that, I had to wait for the little thing to stop counting down. Like, it'll say the USB can't be read or there is no portion or whatever. So, you just wait for that to stop counting down and then hit the left button to select iOS 248 and hit 2 to reload it, and it'll work perfectly. So yeah, that's all. Thanks you guys for watching and goodbye.